Java Memorandum and uh, I think we spent nearly an hour inside there and the uh, Arthur Spiral, uh, the site number two uh, in the high computer has been very very uh, helpful, supportive and very attentive to everything that we have said our concerns and all of us spoke um, Vincent spoke yeah, the chair. Uh, and, and we, we, we spoke. Yeah, we we informed um, our concerns. Among our concerns are, we are very concerned about the uh, incapability or the incompetency of the Malaysian government to be able to manage such a refinery, because the refinery there is no such refinery outside China. And we do not have a benchmark, we do not have a best practice, and then we certainly do not want to use the best practice of China. And as such, we are very, very concerned that the Malaysian government will not be able to manage it. In Australia, liners have received a license. Liners have received a license to build a refinery plant in Australia. But liners choose not to use the license because the license will ask liners to be very, very stringent with regards to the environmental compliance. The regulator in Australia is EPA, the Environmental Protection Authority, and they have to commit to 41 commitments in various uh, areas, various aspects, from transportation to process to buffer zone to groundwater monitoring to waste management. Whereas in Malaysia, the, the regulators are AELB. They are only concerned about the radioactive level. They do not look into other aspects of the transportation, the monitoring of the waste, the public health, the um, processing, uh, the environmental, the groundwater, whether there's spillage. In Australia, they will be doing it in an arid area. There will be a buffer zone of 30 kilometers. In Gebe, 30 kilometer radius, there are 700,000 people living in that 30 kilometer radius around Gebeng. In Australia, the buffer zone will be 30 kilometers. Nobody can live in that area. So you see, we are very concerned that liners are using double standards. Liners are not doing it in Australia because it's so difficult to comply. Liners is taking advantage of the loopholes in our laws. Liners is taking advantage of the legs in our environmental laws. So as such, we also have experts, Dr. Jaya, who has had experience in Bukit Merah. You can talk to him after this. He will explain to you what he went through with the Bukit Merah residents. How it was a very long struggle to put a plant, the plant to a stop. Mitsubishi Corporation had so much experience. They are established. Liners had no plan prior to this. What we are saying is that Liners does not have the capacity to comply. We are doubting Liners will comply. Malaysia does not have the capacity to enforce. Gebeng is not the right place. We do not want it in Gebeng. We do not want it anywhere in Malaysia. If Liners want to have such a plan, they must go back to Australia and do it in Australia and use their license that they have in Australia. They should not take advantage of the Malaysian people. We may be a developing nation, but the people in Malaysia, especially the people in Kuantan, knows what we want. And what we want is that we do not want Linus. Okay? And I would like to